I used to study 8 to 10 hours on a daily basis. After 2 hours, I would uh, generally I would play violin, my hobby. And it would help me to relax, calm down, so that when I switch to the next studying task, it would help me to regain my efficiency. Hello friends, my name is Padmanam Menon. I joined Akash Institute Whitefield two years for NEET UG. Both my parents are software engineers. I was really inspired by my maternal grandfather. He was a general physician. I was inspired by how he used to treat various patients and help relieve their various problems and cured them. I decided that I wanted to become a doctor. I told my parents about this decision. They were really very supportive and they helped and they told me that medicine is a noble profession and as a doctor I would be able to serve the society as a whole. I am aiming to pursue MBBS in Ames, New Delhi or Jipma Pondicherry. I got to know about Akash Institute from my friend's sister. She told me about the regular test series and the doubt sessions which are conducted by the Akash teachers. I got to, uh, I got to know about Ante. Uh, uh, I wrote Ante which is written by lakhs of students and secured an AIR of 75. I also secured a scholarship of 100% after which I decided to join Akash. Ante was my first step towards this journey. It gave me confidence that I can do well in NEET UG also. My whole preparation was centered around NCRT. I used to attend Akash classes regularly and used to make notes from them. If in those notes I had any doubts, I would ask them to my teachers and they would help me fix my gaps from them. I also found the Know Your NCRT books, uh, the polls and the NBTS test series to be very useful. It helped me go deeper into the NCRT and uh, help me fix my gaps and know my doubts, uh, fix doubts and gaps. I never missed any AITS test or NBTS or term exams, uh, polls uh, uh, and many other tests. I never used to miss them. Uh, in fact, uh, these tests really helped me to analyze my mistakes so that I don't repeat the same mistake again. And also there'll be ups and downs in the journey. So, I mean, we shouldn't give up uh, if we make more mistakes, it's better to analyze it so that we don't make the same mistake in the next test. One good thing I feel about NEET and BOTH's preparation is that both are based on the same syllabus, that is the NCRT itself. Um, I used to do the level 1 of the Akash modules and the subjective questions for BOTH. Also, there were the pre-BOTHs uh, which were conducted in our school uh, and uh, it gave a good idea uh, whether I was prepared for the BOTH. And uh, I uh, also for NEET, we generally we go deeper into the NCRT text, uh, textbooks. So if we do the NCRT itself, it would be enough for the boards. I got 96.4 percentage in the board exams. The last few months are really crucial for this two-year journey. I uh, specifically focused on inorganic chemistry, uh, like I made one-page notes and revised them on a daily basis. For botany, I focused uh, more on photosynthesis and respiration since those were my weak topics. Uh, Akash generally conducts 40, uh, final test series 45 days before the actual exam. Uh, these final test series really helped uh, give a good exposure to full syllabus tests and uh, effective time management. In, in fact, in the actual exam, I was able to complete uh, the paper uh, uh, before and I got enough time for revision. Uh, in the NEET exam, I started with physics since I was most confident in it. Then I went to biology since it has the most weightage. And then I came to chemistry in the end. This NEET UG journey is of two years. I used to study 8 to 10 hours on a daily basis. After two hours, I would uh, generally I would play violin, uh, uh, my hobby. And it would help me to relax, calm down so that when I switch to the next studying task, it would help me to regain my efficiency. My advice is that stick to NCRT, uh, keep NCRT at your fingertips, you have to keep doing NCRT thoroughly, do not go too beyond NCRT, just keep doing it again and again. Also take tests regularly because uh, they help identify your gaps uh, 
just keep taking tests because uh, also don't worry too much about the marks because they keep fluctuating. Uh, just keep taking and analyze your gaps. Also here uh, in this journey, health and sleep is very important. You need to get six to seven hours of sleep every day. That keeps the mind running. I would like to say that uh, consistency is the key here in competitive exams and it is always best to stay away from distractions. Thank you and all the best.